YouTube, it's Oka Baron. Today I want to read an app for you guys that's called Starlet. Now before I get into the fun stuff, talking about why I like it and giving it a rating and all that jazzy goodness in me, let's get through the serious stuff. That was a weird intro. What am I on today? It's been a weird day. So Starlet is made by Rockhead Games. Become the greatest star keeper in the upper world. Help Bo and Kiki the starlet find and return the stars that Nuru has stolen from the sky and hid across the lower lands. Go on epic adventures that will have you explore fantastic worlds, frighten nightmarish enemies, collect dazzling treasures, and solve brain-teasing puzzles using an array of special suits. Starlet Adventures is an original action-slash-adventure platform free-to-play game for all agents specifically designed for mobile. You'll have lots of fun with clever controls, adorable and cute characters, beautiful visuals, a wide range of gameplay mechanics to deliver a valuable and memorable experience. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is how this game controls. Wow, my voice just went like an octave deeper. Okay, we'll just roll with that then. The way the game controls is you have simple buttons that do left, right, and your dig down button. Now, there's another button which is kind of, I forgot until I just found it again by trial and error, which is just tapping the screen at, like anywhere on the screen above your control panel. It uses whatever special ability that the suit your starlet is wearing gives that starlet. That was a bad sentence, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but your suits that you wear and power up your little bear, mole, star nose thing. Uh, gives them special abilities. There's like a bombing suit, electrical suit, regular adventure suit, and then like bow and arrow suit. So each of those fires either projectiles, bombs, electricity at enemies and the environment to help move it around and change things. Specific levels want you to use specific suits and there are some prizes that you can only get and some secrets that you can only get when you use a specific kind of suit. So that adds in like an interesting little puzzle aspect of seeing what different suits do on different levels, seeing how they affect different enemies, seeing how it just changes the environment around you as you're going through the levels. It's really creative and really interesting to see how that's manipulated into every single level and how specific ones only work specific ways. Like, you could go through an electric suit level with the adventure suit, you just might not get all of the secrets through it. So it's really nice because a lot of times in games like this where you have a power-up suit, you have to like pay money or pay a certain type of thing to use it, and then you can only get through that level using that suit. So if you don't have it, you're stuck. This one, you might not get all of the special secrety things, but you can still get through the level. Which is awesome, it makes for good consistent gameplay, it makes for moving through levels really easily, and it just makes for fun gameplay because you get to like shooty shoot at things. So quick rephrasing of the suit explanation, uh, there are three suits that you get normally. It's the regular adventure suit, the archer suit, and the bomber suit. You get those for free. Certain levels will give you the other suits for free just to try and have fun with, which are really fun. And then afterwards, if you want to use them on different levels, you gotta pay for them. So a little bit of backtracking. You can also get it through the special tokens that you get throughout playing the game, but those are harder and will take longer to grind up if you do want those. And there are two different kinds of modes within this game. There's regular adventure mode, which is a level-based system. You start in one world, move on to the next one, and go through the levels in each one. There's eight levels in each little world, and at the end of <clears throat> the eight levels, there's a boss at the end of them. The boss is usually, from what I've run into, pretty simple to defeat. It just takes timing and patience. And there's one other mode, which is challenge mode. It's where there's a bunch of different types of challenge, like Christmas challenge, free fall challenge, you get through them and it unlocks the next one. So it's just kind of a building thing and they're a little tougher than the regular levels, so I would only try them if you get pretty good at this game, but otherwise they're still really fun. Overall the aesthetic way this game looks and just how pretty it is, it was really kind of stunning to me. It looks like um, a comparison I want to draw is uh, Ubisoft's indie game Grow Home. That one is like a pretty good comparison to how things look, like the color combinations, the way things are lit, it's not as well shaded or as like field of depthy as Grow Home, but it gives me the same kind of feel and like spare like emotional and mental feel to it. The last thing I want to talk about is the music. It's just really kind of simple background and music, nothing really stands out, I, and it doesn't detract from what's happening either, so that's also good. But overall, I really like it. The sound effects of 
the digging, the noises of your characters, the noises of the enemies, the like little gingling when you collect gems is all really just nice and pleasing to the ear. So nothing is really super standout-y about this, but in a bad way. So yeah, overall it's just a really fun game. It's really easy to control. It has kind of a puzzle adventure element to it. It takes a little while to figure out the controls and get used to them, but that's not really a hindrance. That's kind of how it works with any game you play. But overall, I want to give this app an 8 out of 10. It's just really fun. Like, I can see a few things here and there that would be pretty tweakable, but are easily fixed, and the fact you have to pay for some stuff is a little bit of a bummer. But otherwise, I give this an 8 out of 10. It's really fun. If you are looking for an adventure game like that has some puzzles and uses some brain power in there, this is definitely a good app for you to try out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and comment down below. Hit subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!